guys this is Elton from Boston and this is 36 so this is our first interview and we have an amazing rock star we have mr. Aaron Wilson what's going on bro How's going? Everything? good 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 so let me introduce this guy if you guys don't know who he is he's a man of many talents um, author singer motivational speaker you know entrepreneur is there anything I forgot anything actor, I actor. <laughs> this guy's a beast um, we just came from a casting call too at the agency so Aaron, welcome to 36. He's our first guest, guys. So this first, is this is awesome. This is I'm honored. This right. is crazy. I had to get my guy on here just because we have a similar mindset. You know, we've been doing our thing. Um, he's from Boston as well. So I'm, I'm gonna let I'm gonna shut up. I'm gonna let you introduce <laughs> yeah. yourself. Tell everybody we're here for 36 minutes, guys. So you know we're just gonna chop it up. So take it away, bro. Introduce definitely, yourself. definitely. So my name is Aaron Wilson. You've seen the many titles, and I'm just excited because um, my a little bit of my story. Years ago, I never really believed in myself. So mm -hmm. the fact that I'm actually here, going out on auditions, living my dream, getting contracts, and motivating the world, it's, it's awesome. That's huge, that's huge. And I'm a big believer in that, going after your passions and you know doing what you love. So it was only right that I had this guy come on. He's a beast in what he does. Um, tell us a little bit more, like, what's, how did you get into, you know, was it you knew you were going to be an actor, uh, a singer, or was it no. something like you tried a few different things? Yeah. How'd you get there? It's crazy. I think it was one of those things where along the way it started mm -hmm. to build up. So back even when I was in elementary school, I was very, when it came to mm -hmm. being on the stage or doing anything, I was shy, I was insecure. Yeah. I didn't believe in myself. Me so, too. you know what I mean? That's how I was. So yeah. when people see me, put out music and then act they're like I remember my mom said Aaron you want to be an actor right. or you know <laughs> friends are like and you're right. doing this too but right, the right. thing that they didn't really understand is that I wanted to do this years ago I just never right. stepped out and did it right, right so it's just like that play that went in school yeah. I could never did it then because I was so insecure ready, in I wasn't ready so the, okay. everything you see now is something that been wanting for the years it's just been building it's up. been building up yeah that's crazy it's I'm funny because i had that similar story too wow that's i crazy. tell people like i used to be the steve urkel of the school like i had the glasses <laughs> like the braces so you know i i really like i can i can connect with that because i was in the same position i had all these dreams and ambitions but like i didn't have the confidence per se yeah no they um, don't teach that they yeah, don't exactly. teach it they, it's they not don't. a focus point yeah so, so how did you get that confidence what did you do like what was it for you like was it just something you you were just you know fed up was there somebody who motivated you or i think it honestly through prayer, but also mm. mentors and people that are around me. But to, now that I'm really thinking about it, I get this question a lot when I go on interviews, but yep. I think to myself, I was like, okay, when are you gonna take a chance? So mm. the, any little That's opportunity good. I could slip it in, then yep. I started to do that, you know? And I, I tested the waters word, word. and I got shut down many times, but I started mm. testing myself or pushing myself a little further, stepping out of my comfort zone, putting myself in situations where I feel uncomfortable, but it brings me to a new level. And right. as you can see it now, I'm at the point where it's just like, I'm going out on these auditions, I'm right. having these opportunities come. That's huge, and like, I'm, I'm glad you said that. You touched on a few different things. And, and for me, like mentors, that's one huge thing I like to focus huge. on. Um, so I'm glad you brought that up because I always try to tell people, you don't have to do it all, all on your own. And I, for one, you know, I was guilty of that. I always thought, you know, I can put everything on my back. Um, so let's talk about mentorship. Like for me, I, I have a few different mentors. Mm -hmm. um, a few big names, you know, uh, Grant Cardone, Ty Lopez, Gary Vaynerchuk, um, just because I'm more into like marketing and sales mm -hmm. and things of that nature. Um, Eric Thomas. Yes, I love Eric him. Thomas. He's, he's awesome. He's huge. I know you're into the motivation. Yeah. Who, who Les Brown. Like, Les Brown? Yeah, Les Brown. And then one of my favorite, Alan Dagba. Alan, Alan Yobi Dagba. Dagba. Yeah. I've heard of him. He's awesome. That's like my number one mentor that really right. sat me down, not only helped me with my platform, but yeah. just who I am as a person. So. Okay, word, word. And he's somebody you know. Is that the guy that, yes. at the yeah, event yeah. that I at went to? Event. Yeah, he's a, he's, he's a beast. You, dude. He's a beast. I went to an event yeah. and, and he was one of the Don't speakers. Yeah. yeah, he's dope. Yeah. That's cool. So he's a local, like. Yeah, he, no, he actually, they just moved to um, California. Wow. They moved like, yep, they got up and left like a couple months right. ago and now he's there. So I'm yeah. telling you, like, look that's him dope. up. Alan Yovi Dagba. That's amazing, dope. yeah. But that's cool. Before he before he left, he was here. So like, Yeah, he, he was here so one for one. three years. Oh, yeah. Wow, that person. In his house. Like, like literally, I had an in interview mm -hmm. on um, uh, NBC. So, wow. like, before we went on, yeah. like, 
our like we we sat going around his kitchen table like living room table yep. him shooting questions at me getting me, getting prepped me ready for the interview yeah because when huge. i went on that interview it was it was, a, it was a whole other level so it was dope i didn't even know that Sh- about yeah you. Crazy. i'll send it to you shout out yeah. to urban update you guys are awesome thank you so much Sick. it was awesome let's talk about that a little more so yeah it was like an nbc thing like yeah wow. so th- that's huge bro it was crazy, crazy. so I, it, it's funny so i was acting yeah. so the folklorists Okay. Which is a show on new TV. They got an Emmy Award. Mm-hmm. I got brought on to play Robert Smalls for their episode. Yep. So I did that, connected with some of the people from there after. Ended up getting the contact to NBC. Jeez. Called. I know. This is. This I'll is. Know who looking, you know. This is. Right? This is undercover chance. information. Yeah. I really can't say. Don't, but, you don't have to give too much. No, no, no I won't. I won't. It's, but it's, it's, it's the simple things. It's the like, simple things. I, no, but I actually talk about this in my book, The yep, Point Guard. Yeah. So I, t- I, and I hit Still. them up. And I told them about my business, lead the mm-hmm. baseline, and they were like, you know what? When do you want to mm-hmm. come on the show? I'm like, what? what? I'm telling, I'm telling you. Sometimes <laughs> you just have to step out your comfort zone, ass, yes. and then literally, no lie. A right. couple weeks later, I was on their show, and it was. If you don't ask, like you know, you never know. Yeah, exactly. you never know. What you gotta. Yeah. And my big thing is like, if you don't promote yourself, if you don't put yourself out there, there's not a lot of people who will do it for you. So yes, you know. And I think, that, and that's you. the thing. Thank you. I think. We, we were talking about this mm-hmm. earlier. We live in an era now, like, yep. you have to do that. Before, it's like, oh, you're self-promoting. No, yeah, right, we right. live in a time where it's just yes. like, it's not cocky. It's, it's you have to promote. Yes. You have to say what you want. You know yeah. what I mean? Because Absolutely. especially with platforms that we have, it's mm-hmm. not just for us. It's helping other people. Through my gifts and talents, yeah. like, now other people are stepping out and doing Absolutely. what they're called to do. I'm telling you. I, I love it because I get I get so much heat on on that. I don't know if you do, but like when I first no, I started, yeah. it Not like really. like but. people would. Cause, I don't know. I guess because I got a big mouth, so sometimes I, I I'm just always firing off my yeah. opinions and things <laughs> like that. So like maybe I might have rubbed people the wrong way. But for me, it's always been like you gotta promote yourself. You, you gotta have put to. Yourself you have to. Out there, and I mean, there's always you know? there too. I remember one time I I used to tag people in my videos just yeah. randomly, yeah. and I had one person who's like, um, can you not tag me? Uh, <laughs> You're gonna get those that those though. Things. I was just it like, happens, you know what? Yeah, yeah, it happens, it happens. But any everyone that in the lane that we're going, exactly. you have to do that. Absolutely. So with that, let's let's keep talking about that. Oh wait, I think I stopped my timer. Keep going. So let's keep talking about the self promotion. And, yeah. and then we're going to lead into your lead the baseline because I, I definitely want to talk about that because yeah. we all know I love entrepreneurship um, with the self promotion. What do like if you can give some advice to people, yeah. what do you do? What are, what are some strategies? Maybe is it just like, you know, online, offline, maybe a combination of both. Yeah. Like, say somebody who's watching this, they're new. They want to be yeah. maybe an author. They want to be an actor whatever it is. They have their brand. What piece of advice can you share with them to kind of? get them going and start promoting their their thing awesome uh, yes whoever's watching the whole world probably right, but right, right. <laughs> for promotion I would definitely say start off with a little bit of both okay. some networking events which I did I talk about and then also social media but take my advice don't feel over over there's so much social media there's different platforms there's snapchat mm-hmm. Instagram Facebook YouTube mm-hmm. please 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 take my advice because I'm actually I'm going through this now and I've been through it Choose one or two and just focus on building that one. Don't feel like you need mm. all these things. You'll get overwhelmed. Start on one or start on two and just focus on those and start to build them nice. and then move on. You know, you can just focus on two and get to where you need to be. Don't feel like you have to do all these social media things. You'll just stress yourself out. And then as far as for networking events, depending on which field you're in, whether it's an actor, an entrepreneur, construction, anything, there's so many different events in your city. There's mm-hmm. meetup groups. There's different things you can plug into where you can actually go to them. I got contracts from these events of just going to networking events. Nice. I got so many connections just by stepping out of my comfort zone and going to them. So start off with those two, but don't overwhelm yourself. Do not. Okay. So start off with, you know, select uh, social media platforms. Exactly. Nothing crazy. You don't have to do everything. Nope. And then just go out there, meetup.com. That's that's a big thing. Yeah, meetup.com and honestly Google. Go to your yeah. ne- like search your wherever your location is and mm-hmm. see for whatever it is and just type it in. Or and go to those. That's good. That's good. One thing if I can throw anything else in there too, I just learned about Facebook groups. Like look huge look for yes. Facebook groups within your city. You know, example, if you're a chef, you know, chefs in Boston or chefs of Boston, I don't know. They, There's you'll so be surprised. You'll be surprised. Yeah. I'm telling you, it's, I'm it's, telling it's crazy. You, the, like, I think it goes back to the day and age we live yep. in. Yep. 
it's changing. By the time we wake up tomorrow, there's going to be a, a new right, thing. Right. You know, and that could work to your advantage, you know? So right. it's just, just no, there's no limits. Yeah, I, I read this quote the other day, and it's like, it's better to be seen or it's some, basically like I'll paraphrase it. It's like you want to be putting, you want to put content out. You want to put yourself out because that's better than not putting anything at all. Because if you don't put anything out, no one knows you're there. If you don't vocalize it and promote your, exactly. what you're doing, mm -hmm. it's you know it's horrible because no one knows. No, no one knows. knows. Like if you don't put it out there that you're, you know, for example, I'm doing a new series. I'm doing 36. If I didn't 36. put this out there, if I didn't reach out to people. It wouldn't, you wouldn't happen. Yeah, yeah. this wouldn't be here. That's why when he when you when you told me like yeah. I was like your first guest, like I already seen yeah. like I was like I'm your first. I'm honored, <laughs> no, because I already seen this like right, blowing right. up. So Absolutely. it's dope. It's dope. So now when people are gonna they have to scroll back in yeah. five years <laughs> to, find, to find this, no, we'll, we'll bring you back. We'll, we'll no, keep this it going. Is, this is dope for sure. Um, so let's talk about leave the baseline. Yes, because we ha I have a bunch of things I want to talk about, guys. So like we're gonna talk about that. Um, we're going to jump around. This isn't your typical interview. Like I say, we, we're here to have fun. We're here to mix it up. 36 is, is different. It's not going to be like every other talk show. So, you know, um, tell us about Leave the Baseline. How did that start? So that started with my mentor, mm -hmm. Alan Dagba. He sat mm -hmm. me in a room. He said, even though I was a motivational speaker, even though I was an artist, he said, Aaron, build something that's bigger mm -hmm. than yourself. Hmm. And I was like, so he sat, I'll never forget, he sat me in the downstairs office. He's like, think of your business name. I'm like, what? He shut the door and he left and went upstairs. And I'm like, what? So I just, I had a peep, no, I'm not lying. I had Jeez. a piece of paper and I'm like, what do I want to call this? I thought of leadership, lead, my music background, yep. baseline. And yep, yep. literally I came up with it. He's like, that's it. He made the logo for me. And now three years later, Jeez. I have an organization that's run every year. Yeah. Through a foundation mm -hmm. that basically youth come in i mm -hmm. run a leadership program nine to 12 weeks okay it's on training it's on going after your gifts and now that's even wow. evolving so it's it's Jeez. amazing so the whole yeah thank you the whole heart behind that was yeah. like okay now that i discovered who i am as an artist as mm -hmm. an actor as a speaker mm -hmm. how can i build something where mm -hmm. other youth and other um people that want to be entrepreneurs can learn from and right. how can i build that right. platform and that's what right. it turned into that's dope so if yeah. somebody wanted to be a part of these classes how do they you know oh yeah they go like yeah they go the... so first right now my website okay. aaronkwilson.com get in touch with me and Boom. yeah we're building like i said our first the major contract that we have is in mm -hmm. new bedford we we got it to run a leadership program okay. And now we got more money. We, I'm running it the second time we end this nice. month. And then it's just, it's expanded. So. Guy's working, guys. He's working. Yeah. That's, dope. That's dope. So it's good to see. I'm always proud. And like, I love seeing um, young men, especially young men of color, mm -hmm. um, doing, it. doing it and being positive. So I think that that's only right that we had Aaron here first. Because that's definitely something I, I'd love to promote and love to push. Because in a day and age where there's so much craziness going on. Um, you don't I, see a lot of Yeah, you don't you see. Know? You get... You, it's we weird. have to put it out there. You exactly. Know? You can't wait for someone to be like, oh, you know. Right. Because they say like negative information travels around the world twice before you know something positive, something Isn't of that value. Crazy, yeah. Like, mm -hmm. it's so it's definitely on us. Um, the next thing I want to talk about. Speaking of information, I got a, a few topics here on my phone, um, and we're just gonna run through it. And this is you know more of like headlines, things that you know it's going on in real life. Um, maybe big headlines. That, that went down this week or this past week. And I wanna hear your thoughts, your opinions, your feedback, your position, and, and then I'll share my thoughts and ideas. So the first thing I wanna talk about, it's, it's more music related, more pop, mm -hmm. I guess. Um, Travis Scott, everyone knows Travis Scott, um, huge rapper for the few people who don't know who he is. Basically, Travis Scott is now dating um, Kylie Jenner, right? So. The big news with that is she used to date Tyga, another rapper, you know, rapper beef, I guess. I don't know. Um, but they've been dating. They've been out. And um, I'm probably going to put a picture or something so you guys can see this. Um, they, they're, they're hooking up. They're hooking up. There's clear evidence that they're hooking up. But th that's not the story here. The story is Travis is going around. Um, he's kissing and telling. He's comparing the two sisters because he used to date another one of the Jenners. Kendall, I believe is her name. So he's saying, hey, this one is better than that one. How do you feel about that? What do you think? What are your thoughts hearing a story like this? Well, when I hear it, just, just in general, yeah. it's, it's gossip. I mean, like, mm -hmm. none of us can really clarify what's right. going on, you know, that's because true. True. You, when you're in that light. So right. pretty much, that's pretty much it. But I mean, that's the life that, that's right. the world we live into. 
like you know people love that stuff yep. people seek it like you they, said they negativity yeah. rotates around Absolutely. you know me I, I like i hear it but i don't really you don't tie into, into it. it i don't how do you like okay let's say considering that this is all true how do you feel about so for me when i hear this i cringe a little bit just mm -hmm. because i feel like number one if they're dating cool my thing is relationships are between two people mm -hmm. you know so i, I always think it's like it's a little weird when people start you know we all have we all know about the stigmas and the stereotypes that guys love to kiss and tell and you know once they're amongst their boys i for one was never that type of guy i don't know me um, either i don't see you as that mm -hmm. either um i just feel like it's weird you know kind of especially if you're a, a famous you know celebrity yeah. type thing it's, it's just weird yeah. to me i don't know to, kiss to, and tell. especially like sisters like yeah I, that's where like i don't know to date the same sister that's just weird right right or so, like someone's sister yeah it, I guess if I could give you guys any value out of this, the whole the reason why I chose this and kind of like it stuck out to me is hopefully we can push a narrative where you know it's not cool to do something like this. You know, that's mm -hmm. my that's yeah. what I want to say, I, it's guys, like especially young guys. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I'm not saying Travis Scott is you know any way the 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 leader of you know men of color or he you know he's running but he's he has influence yeah. you know a lot of people look up to him he has a lot of fans for his music and for what he does in fashion and everything so you know let's 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 get it together essentially you know exactly if you're in that position me i never want to be famous i would love to be respected for my work and what i put out but you know i i definitely will be cognizant because if you have a platform and you have the ability to influence others use it and do the right thing that's just yeah. my opinion mm -hmm. um, i agree it's just it's, it's, it makes me cringe you yeah. know that's that's all <laughs> that's like the number one thing i was reading the article and i'm like what is going on you know um and speaking of cringe the next thing that happened this week so king james lebron james um he's in the finals shout out to him i think this is like his seventh yeah. year in a row um i'm not big into basketball i'm more of a football guy but you know King James is all over the, the news. Basically, somebody broke into his house and vandalized his house, um, you know, threw some racist remarks on, you know, the N-word, you know, all over it, with graffiti. Basically, they vandalized it, spray painted the N-word. Um, that's scary, you know? Um, what do you, how do you feel about this? Like, that's especially crazy. with somebody of his stature, like, you know, he's famous, he, he's King James, you know? I mean, like I said, there's, the world we live in, there's always, no matter if you're mm -hmm. famous or whatever platform, there's always going to be negative, dark people, you know, yeah. and yeah, that's going to, that's something that's always going to happen. I think the question is, how do we rise above it? Absolutely. You know, like, yeah. I love this line, like Michelle Obama says, yeah. when they go low, we go high. You yeah. know what I mean? So yeah. it's just like, shout out we, to Michelle. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Michelle. So I think that's the thing. I mean, this is another, you mm -hmm. know, there's so many circumstances of this and it's unfortunate. So right. it's like, you know, you're, how do you live with light and darkness exactly you know? so it's just what would you do if this is your house you came home and you know like 10 20 years knock on wood i hope this doesn't happen to you okay. like what if you were so in his position a, right? Right. <laughs> no. what if you were in his position you know you're you're in the spotlight you're a big person because mm -hmm. of everything you're doing and somebody finds a way to break into your house and just vandalizes this how how would you feel about that oh it's going down <laughs> <laughs> nah but um that's crazy. Yeah. Well, number one, the security will be like Fort Knox, so no one's coming in. Right. No, but no, I would honestly, I f I'll feel disrespectful. Like, that's yeah. your home. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? It's just like, who does that? Yeah. Like, who, you know what I mean? Right, but, right, right. That's crazy. It's, it's, it's a low blow. I, yeah. I hope, I hope, like you said, the security thing's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> I hope LeBron steps up the security, you know. For real. Yeah, and he has a family too, so that's, yeah, that's, that's a huge thing. You know, definitely, definitely want to you want to upgrade that security. I feel like, you know, there's racism everywhere you go. And I like the fact that you said we focus on the, the positive, mm -hmm. essentially. Um, so yes, it's unfortunate, but my thing is I always try to tell people, I like to focus on the, the plus side, the positive side. Um, you know, there isn't really too much of that in racism, but you do have full control of how much energy you give. It. Exactly. So that's my thing. Um, you can always remove yourself from certain situations. You know, I'm not saying ignore it and act like it's not there or present, but your energy is what you can control. So I'm a big believer of control and your, your, you know, how, how invested are you into this negative situation? Exactly. It's just kind of, you have to remove yourself and your emotions and let it, you know, let them do their thing and we go high, like you said. So exactly. 
hopefully, you know, LeBron, he's in the finals. I'm pretty sure he's focused yeah. on <laughs> winning and doing what he has to do. So hopefully he's, he's good um, and his family is good too. Um, the next thing that I wanted to touch on, let's touch on something a little bit more fun and positive, right? Um, Wonder Woman. Are you into Are you into like the comics? Are yeah, you into, like, yeah. The, the Avengers yeah. and the DC comics. Or do you have a favorite? Who's your favorite uh, hero? Do you have one? I don't even Somebody know. Somebody that you follow and look up to. I like them all. Like, They're all cool. Yeah. What just, if? All right. Which hero? Which power would you like? If you had, if a I had a power, power yeah. What, what would it be? I'm in right now. Like I feel like I'll start it off. I'll let you you know yeah. think about it. Um, I, I feel like every once in a while I switch it up. Right now, I'm really into uh, the Flash. He's like the fastest. The guy. fastest. That's dope. He's cool. He's not just fast. Like he, he has. He's so fast. He can like run through stuff. Run through and stuff. Run on water and up like buildings. That's so, crazy. I don't know. I'm, See, I'm I want to. I want to. I want to fly right now. You want to fly? Like, I'm looking okay. at these buildings like these guys. I want to be Superman. <laughs> I'm the. If word, I was word. Flash, I feel like I'll crash into too many things. <laughs> I think he you can know, control for, it though. Like I huh? zigzag out the way, you know. Yeah. Because um, I, I watched the TV show. He has a TV show oh, okay, on okay. the CW, and it's like it's real people, and they do a really good job of like making it real. So I guess in his world, based off of like the science, things slow down around oh, him. So it's not that like I guess it's, he is super fast, but like things are so slow that he can manipulate it. Okay. So that. So could, he's probably like looking at yeah. So like he can motion, see yeah. exactly. So like if that's somebody dope. was to punch you, like you see it coming, you just kind of move out the way. That's dope. Um, I I think that's my thing for now. Flying would be dope. Flying would be um, dope. I just I like fly, I'm I'm Fly-pass always running the haters. around. No, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always running around too. So like yeah. this like you if need I to if, fly, yeah. if I could save time flying or running, I'm in there. Yeah. So dope. the reason being, um, Wonder Woman, the new movie comes out this week. Um, if you guys don't know who she is. She is in the DC Comics universe. Um, in believe it or not, there aren't a lot of women or female superheroes. So this is huge that like you know she's getting her own standalone film. Um, it's about time, right? <laughs> so shout out to Wonder Woman. Are you gonna go watch this movie? Oh yeah, definitely. Check it out? I heard some yeah. Lupia wrote. She oh really? It, yeah, on her Instagram. You know how they can see it a little earlier. Yep, she yep, yep. said nothing but like amazing words about it you know wow. so after that reading that whole long review yeah. i'm like you know what? i'm definitely gonna see That's it she That's said dope. not only was it like funny but it had like it was like she wants to see it again it was witty like you know i, I know, think about it they this was like they years in the making yeah. they had to bring like, it they had to kill it they, you can't come out and mess absolutely. this up you know what I mean? it's gonna be riots in the streets you can't mess they, up Wonder yeah Woman. because she was this was made like so many years ago, you know. Yeah, so yeah. the fact that they've had time yeah, they to had, really, yeah, they had. I think time. I think this is a good timing too. Like some other superhero movies, kind of came out a little early. With this, I feel like they're they're in a good space. Like there's a lot of other superhero things going on. So shout out to Wonder Woman. I love anything pro, you know, pro woman. Like this, I think it's about time, especially with Mr. Trump in office and all the slander, mm -hmm. you know. So it's time. It, it's time, right? We gotta mm -hmm. shout out to the to the ladies. Um, Shout out. I always say this, like, we might be guys, but in the future we might have daughters, right? Mm -hmm. Same thing exactly. for you guys. Yeah. If you're sitting at home and you're kind of like, what does this have to do with me? It's a movie, women's rights. You might it have, all connects. It all connects. You. you have a mom, right? Or you have a sister or an aunt, you know, or a girlfriend. Or there, there's some female in your life that, you know, you might feel some type of way for or affection. So it, it all connects. It all that's, connects. That's my thing never feel like hey this doesn't affect me right now right here so i don't care about it but it might Down affect someone yeah you know if you ever have a daughter one day that's something you're gonna have to think about how she's treated and and you know how people respect her or disrespect her so um that's always something i'm thinking about yeah. i'm weird like that's, that i'm no, always that's, into the future no, that's good um, that's really good and, and i like to like i'm a guy of positivity right i always like to spread you that to positive energy out there so i'm I, I can't wait to see this wonder woman movie i hope they don't drop the ball you're saying good reviews yeah, yeah. by Lupita, so, yeah, so I trust her. Yeah, she, right. she knows what she's doing. She know. um, next thing I wanted to touch on. So, we, this is kind of switching gears. I know, right? Uh, <laughs> you might oh, know. Well, we're giving you everything right. in this 36. Like. <laughs> so, we're covering everything. So, it, it has to do with Kathy Griffin. Oh, so, I don't know oh, if you guys, yeah, this, oh, this, is, oh, this, is, this is intense. We, got 11, we have 11 why? minutes on the why? clock, so right. Kathy, we'll why? see. Right, <laughs> right. So... Um, to give you guys a little context, Kathy Griffin, she is um, a well-known comedian, right? She she's very vocal. Um, she's very uh, I don't want to say aggressive, but like she's different. She's very intense. So 
she had this image that she put out on social media a few days ago. Um, it was basically like Mr. Trump's head, Donald Trump's head. I don't know why I keep calling him Mr. Trump. I don't, even, I, don't, I don't respect him too much to call him Mr. Trump. Donald Trump's head, um, all bloody and like decapitated. It was intense. Um, when I first saw that, I was like, kind of like, what are you doing? Why? You yeah, know? Why? What was the purpose? Um, what were your initial thoughts on this? Like, it was the same thing. I was just like grossed out, like yeah. weirded out. I'm like, is this the purge? Like, what is? You know what yeah, I mean? It's right, just right, like, right. you know, not a, not a let alone. It was Kathy Griffin. I was just even if it was just nobody, like just right. holding up a head of someone, like yeah. that's not cool, a joke it, or not. Exactly, I agree. Like, I feel like you. I don't know. I read an article about it. She she just basically. All right, guys. We had a little interruption. Still got ten minutes on the clock. Um, Listen, it's the first episode. Things happen, yeah. you know, with entrepreneurship. You, right? you learn to roll with the punches. It's, it's whatever. But we're back. Um, the sound quality might be a little different, but we're just going to speak up. And hopefully, you know, for the next episode, this won't even be an issue. So, yeah, we were talking about Kathy. Um, I was going to say, I was saying, basically, it just didn't make sense for me. Um, like, I read an article about her, and she said, you know, she, it was like an attack on him because of everything he's done for the women or mm -hmm. set against women, yeah. right? But you you don't fight fire with fire, you know? You don't fight negativity with negativity. Um, it kind of goes back to what we just said. They go low, we go high, right? Exactly. So for me, just seeing that was kind of like, what are you doing? Yeah. And she's getting so much backlash. She's been dropped. She's lost sponsorship. That's money, guys. That's a lot of money. Definitely. She's lost sponsorships. She's lost gigs. Um, she was supposed to do New Year's Eve with Anderson Cooper, and what month are we in? June. Yeah. Six months away, and she's already like, if she's, she's out, she's right? Out, yeah. That they sucks. Don't want that, yeah. Um, and and you know, outside of the money thing, that's you know, she has a family, you know, that, that's yeah. money. That's her brand. Now she's like hurt her brand. I know, and I love, and I honestly, I've seen her before, like yeah. you know, watched her and stuff, and she's funny and that. Like Absolutely. I'm like Kathy, you know. So I just hope, hopefully, she can recover from this. I, I hope so. She's saying um, the the Trump, the family is like attacking her now. Um, the 11 year old son, Donald Trump's 11 year old son said he was scarred. And I can only imagine, you know, seeing your dad like that and not knowing, hey, is this real? Is it Photoshop? You know, who knows? Um, and he, he the, the kid even went out and said, drop her from, you know, if you're working with Kathy. So like, that's huge, you that's know? Crazy. So I feel bad for her. Um, that and just, something, and honestly, I don't think she really even meant like harm, yeah, harm, vibe. Yeah. But it's right. like one thing you do, it's like absolutely, could, you know, absolutely. Um, I it's weird because I'm on the flip side, right? I'll I'll play devil's advocate. Um, a lot of when Obama was in office, there were a lot of people doing just as like grotesque things. Yeah. Um, not saying like, hey, why didn't they get bashed or lashed out on? But it's just weird how like it, it was. It didn't blow up to this extent. Um, and what I mean is like they had their images of him with like nooses around his neck and you know um, I've heard of this Ted Nugent thing. I, I have to look it up I'm not gonna speak on it cuz I don't know too much about it from from the little bit that I know correct me if I'm wrong in the comments She wrote like a hate song, you know and had like a gun talked about shooting him or whatever um, So it's just weird man. I, I'm never again positivity positive is, is the way to go. positive vibes right? I think too with hers because she's a celebrity too right so doing that to another celebrity figure is like crazy it's ridiculous so the final topic that a lot hasn't really happened this week guys so um the final topic i have for this is it has to do with football i love football um are you into sports are you i more play them guy? not watch them but okay. like i'm more like active so like, okay we're, we're, we're. so football is my thing i tried it one year um I'm more of a track. I did track. I love oh, track. Right. Yeah, but I love to watch it. Watch it. I do. I, I'm active too, but I'm more you like of, watching. Yeah, it. I like watching football. That's my thing. Um, so the NFL. Let's talk about this. Um, right now it's June, right? June is is known as Pride Month. Um, so the NFL, the LA Rams. I'm just reading this, guys. The LA Rams has become the first team to sponsor a like a Pride event. So this is huge. We all know LA. Um, has Venice Beach they have this big you know I guess block party type thing um, during Pride and the LA Rams sponsored I guess it's a sign that they have going up mm -hmm. with different letters that says Venice and the Rams putting some money to do this um, I, I think this is cool you know it's 2017 
Um, there are different people out there, different backgrounds, different creeds, mm -hmm. and you know, I think us being people of color too, it's all it's something big to think about. You know, even if whatever your stance is on pride and the LGBTQ, I always mess this up, LGBTQ <laughs> community. Um, you know, let me connect the dots. I feel like I'm like all over the place. You know. Acceptance is acceptance, you know, mm -hmm. I, I hear a lot of people that you know have their views and their opinions on this Which is great um, But at the end of the day You got You guys got to remember like we're all humans, you know, that's my stance mm -hmm. on it um, I, I, I read this article and I wanted to bring this up because I think it's pretty cool that you know teams like you know the NFL like this huge organization, organization. or one team within the NFL is doing something like this um, LA is known for a very, very huge um, LGBTQ community. I don't know if I said that right. Sorry if I didn't, guys. But, you know, it makes sense. I mm -hmm. Shout out to them. What are your yeah. thoughts on this? Do you think this is cool? Do you think, um, you know, is there anything else you, you want to see from them? Or what do you think? Like, what Well, I think, thoughts? like, what you said is, like, discrimination is discrimination, you right. know? And mm -hmm. I always go back to coming me being a Christian like love mm -hmm. is love you know nice. and so despite you know race or whatever mm -hmm. we should our first standpoint is like okay they're human you right. know you don't right. have to agree with someone right Absolutely. you know because this thing's where I don't agree with but right. at the end of the day I'm not gonna throw that or use it against them right. you know we Absolutely. can have disagreements but at the end of the day do we are we respecting each other Absolutely. you know can we love each other at the right. end of the day yeah that's that's what it's about like mm -hmm. you know I have a girlfriend, I like girls, but doesn't mean that, you know, you have to, what's the word, discriminate against guess, someone yeah. or, or not be, you know, let, my thing is this, you do you, I do me, as long as you're respectful, exactly. you know, I don't care, like, you do your thing, you have your preference, Exactly. Um, so, you know, shout out to the Rams, I, I think this is huge, especially, you know, again, my thing is, if you're in a position of influence, Use it, do the right thing. Yeah. Um, I think the NF, the LA Rams are doing something great. So shout out to them for doing that. Um, that's really it for the topics for today. We have three minutes left on the clock. Um, is there anything that we didn't touch on that you wanted to bring up, bro? No, but I, I just liked how, like, with all the topics mm -hmm. that we talked about, whether good or bad, right. they had a platform. And so Absolutely. you watching, whether you have millions of followers or even if you don't, you have you still have a platform you're still influencing your classmates or mm. your co-workers like don't throw that away like you know at the end of the day who are you influence what type of influence are you you doing is it good is it bad like remember that like you're here for a purpose and a reason absolutely i love that that's a, that's a, a great message um, and that's that's why we you know that's why i wanted to put this platform together you know um, i'll spend the last few minutes talking about that just so you guys have an idea with 36 it's it's not for me it's for other people to come on board to share their opinions um, especially within our community within Boston mm -hmm. and, and eventually maybe global right so it's not like because for me I don't know about you I hate watching the news I, mean, I, I I'm don't in watch touch. it it's too negative it, exactly it's see that, that's what I mean you know you it's, need it's, a balance or something. it's just crazy. exactly my mentors always told me like focus on positivity um, and just control because your mindset your, your the thoughts and everything that you put into here really like determines the way you move the way you feel right because your thoughts turn it your feelings turn into thoughts right and your thoughts dictate yes. your actions so it just whenever I see the news I'm like turn it off right uh, I'll, I'll read an article I'll stay informed but it's just constant negativity is it's draining, it's right? crazy. It's draining so I like to talk about you know the, the good the bad the ugly but at the same time, we can share, you know, maybe our thoughts and opinions exactly. and, you know, maybe give people their, their recommendations or, you know, our standpoint. So that's what this is for. Every week we're going to have a new guest, right? So, you know, and right now I'm focusing more with people within our city, right? Within Boston. Mm -hmm. uh, who knows, in a year or two, this might drastically evolve. Um, Worldwide. Right, exactly. <laughs> if I'm traveling, we might have somebody in a different city, you know? Who knows? But at the end of the day, this is a platform so people can come on, you know, share what they have going on, share what they're working on. Just like Aaron came on and, and, and you know, drop some nuggets, let you guys really know. And definitely reach out to him if you guys have anything that you can collaborate with and bring some value, you know, to his world or vice versa. If he, if he can add some value to what you have going on, definitely reach out. Definitely. Um, 
I'm gonna put this in the bio in the description. Yeah. How can people reach out to you? Social media. Yeah, email. social media. Aaron K. Wilson. So Aaron, the letter K, Wilson. Dot com, and then that's pretty much it across the board for social media. So Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. Awesome. Check it out. More to come soon. So make sure you stay tuned. Perfect. And that was it. That's our first full 36 interview with the boss so himself. Thanks, bro, thank for you coming for out. Me. And with that, guys, thank you for tuning in. I'm going to end the episode with my, my motto. This is what I always say. Do what you love and love what you do so you can make the rest of your life the best of your life. Peace.